Hi, I'm Allie. You may remember me as Baba Sheep from Mother Goose Club. But I'm embarking on a new adventure with my friend, Alfie. Join us as we explore the fascinating animal kingdom. Wild, wild, wild. It's Wild Wild Wow! I went to the movies yesterday, Ellie, and I saw this film about a superhero who could climb up walls and then make himself invisible. <sighs> Wouldn't it be great to be able to do that? Well, I know an animal that isn't a superhero, but it can climb up walls and almost make itself invisible. You're kidding. There's really an animal that can do that? There is, and it's one of the cutest animals you'll ever meet. Wild! You have to show it to me, Allie. No problem, Alfie. And I'm sure you'd like to see this wonderful animal, too. Time to take a look through the Creature Scope. This creature sounds incredible, Allie. I can't imagine what it is. Then check it out, Alfie. This looks like a little lizard. It is. It's a special type of lizard called a gecko. Right, a gecko. There are over 1,500 different types of geckos, and they can be found living in almost every country in the world. You said they were good climbers. They are. They can climb straight up walls and even crawl upside down across ceilings. Wild, but how can they do that? They have these tiny hairs on their toes that help them cling to any surface without falling. Each gecko has over six million of these hairs. Wow, but Allie, I can see these geckos. You said they could become invisible. Almost invisible. Take a look at this little fellow. Wild, wild, wow. He's very hard to see. He's almost the same color as the bark on a tree. Many geckos flatten themselves out to look exactly like the tree or plant they're on. When they stay perfectly still, it's almost impossible to see them. Right. And these green geckos can look just like the green stalks of the plants they climb onto. Correct. Geckos come out at night to catch insects for food, and they have amazing eyes that help them see really well in the dark. Wow. The more I learn about geckos, the more I like them. So these little geckos can climb everywhere, almost make themselves invisible, and see in the dark. They're pretty amazing little lizards, all right. Maybe we can make a model of a gecko. Good idea, Alfie. Okay, everyone, come and join us for a ride in the Zippy Zoomer. Ready, everybody? Let's wow, wow, wow. Hey there, kids, come gather around. Come meet the animals, adventures abound. Learning, exploring, let's seize the day. Come on, let's play. What do we need to make our cute little gecko? Well, first we'll need our smocks because things might get messy. Mm. White paint, black paint, paint brushes, scissors, and a piece of paper with a gecko drawn on it. Ready? Right then, let's get started. First, we'll grab our paintbrush and dip it in our white paint. Get a nice amount. Next, we'll flick it onto the paper, kind of like a magic wand. Hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh. Do you want to try? Sure. It looks fun. All right, like a magic wand. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh. To make smaller spots, you can do this. Next, we'll do the same thing, but with the black paint. There. Now, we wait for it to dry. Hmm. There we 
we go. Now it's time to cut out our gecko. Looks dry to me. Mm. You may need to ask your grown-up to help you with this part. Do not try this without adult supervision. Great work. Look, our gecko. Wow. <laughs> what do you think, Alfie? It looks cute and very colorful. You can make one at home. It's lots of fun. Let's have a different sort of fun. Have a go at guessing which animal I am. My body is covered in fur, and I can be white, brown, gray, black, or a mix of these colors. I have very sharp eyes that can help me see in the dark, and some long whiskers on either side of my face. I'm really, really good at climbing, and when I want attention, I sound like this. Have you guessed which animal I am? That's right, I'm a cat. We've had so much fun today. We hope you have too. But before we go, we have to remind you that we always say, it's wild, wild, wow. It's wild, wild, wow.